All right, guys, it's just gonna be me with you today. We're gonna let uh, Dave get some food in his belly. He's been out here working all morning. So I wanted to kind of give you a look here. This is the Wildcat 384 MB. Uh, Mrs. Roberts, if you're watching, I'm doing this one for you. Uh, I know you guys are interested in this particular model, so I wanted to show you a little bit more in depth and anyone else that's interested in this model, I'm gonna give you a little bit more thorough walkthrough on this thing. So uh, we'll just kind of open some stuff up as we go get a pass-through storage in here guys you got the lights your your cable hookups um, i mean just yeah storage galore if you got any pets a little uh, leash here that's pretty cool you start to see those on some higher end fifth wheels and your toy haulers and stuff so um what, what do we got behind here i like these magnets these are really nice so a full kitchen Let's pull this out for you here you get the nice capital grill. These will fold out so the wind doesn't take out the flame here. Very nice cooktop, prep space, uh, or a little spot to put like a magic bullet or a coffee pot or something like that. A uh, little fridge here for you. You got your propane line and everything. That's a quick connect, so it'll give you all of that stuff. So, um, oh, and so we have the uh, the six point auto leveling on this one, guys. You can kind of see we got uh, stability in front and behind the axles. Solid step here for the entry. So let's go take a look inside. All right. So guys, uh, rear living concept. This one does have a middle bunk and a loft. I'm gonna get to that in just a second. So, uh, but you just notice in the um, uh, Wildcat, a little bit higher quality for still your mid-level RV here. Uh, awesome recliners, theater seating, if you will. These are gonna have the, uh, the cable ejection there. So pull that up, still have storage and cup holders. Um, entertainment center, so you're right in front of that. And if you are entertaining additional guests, this will be a trifold sofa. So, um, you know, not, not like your average futon that you might see in something like this. So, uh, you got your solid, uh, I'm sorry, your stainless steel appliances here. Really big microwave. And uh, let's see here. I wanted to show you guys the fridge too. There we go. The fridge and freezer. Plenty of space for you there. And guys, just, I mean, just looking around, plenty of cabinetry and everything. Um, these will open up. These have a very good bit of depth in them. Uh, pull out drawers pretty much everywhere. Uh, they're, they're nice and tight just for when you're in transit mode. They're not going to fly open on you. So, um, and uh, I, as you've been seeing here, the fireplaces are getting very popular as well. Uh, a lot of people think they're just for show. I mean, they do put out 5,000 BTUs of heat, so it would warm an area like this with no problem. And yeah, you wouldn't have to waste your propane and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, uh, table and chairs in this model. We got, we got Dave Durnell sitting at one of those, enjoying himself. Feel good to sit down, Dave? It does, and now you know how much weight it can hold. There you go. <laughs> Any particular questions coming up on this one yeah, yet? Yeah, uh, we got a weird one from a Puma. Okay. So I want to know, can you take the front tongue off of a Puma? Park on, trailer. On, uh, so I do believe that that would be a special request, okay, guys? Um, if you don't mind, just we have so many products. If I had them all memorized, my head wouldn't fit through the yeah. door. So um, just give us a call. I know the Wildwoods for sure do have the detachable tongue it is an option it's like a 250 and dollar option so for those campsites that may not uh you know fit that trailer or if you wanted to skirt around it that would be an awesome way to do that so then we had the question do you carry rockwood mini lights geo pro ultralight that's one of our best sellers ain't it yep, dave that's yep. <laughs> probably our number one seller yeah. and then do we also carry winnebago's we do we do yeah and then we had another question do you have the coachman spirit we do not because yeah. coachman does uh, like we've named some other companies, they do not like dealers that sell affordably. Mm -hmm. Just being honest, their dealers get irritated if they can't make uh, huge margins, so they don't yep. like to do business More with, profit. Yep. with dealers that sell affordably. So, yep. I mean, the nicest way I can say it uh, is shame on you, Coachman, and shame on you, <laughs> sure. you know, well, some of the, the other companies, yeah. but... 
And there, there's other products I can mention too that we've just had a very uh, difficult time getting our customers taken care of after the sale. You know, um, if I got a customer out in North Dakota and the factory sends me parts and I got to send him parts and it's the wrong one four right. times, it, who do you think that customer is going to be upset with? Yeah, and then, not, then not the we, factory. we just can't do business with that factory yeah, anymore. No, there's there's no point. If, if if we sell you a trailer and I can't take care of you, there was no reason to earn your business. There exactly. Just wasn't, so uh, someone else wanted to see the fridge one more one time. One more time. Yeah. Like I said, I got a uh, a uh, special couple, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Roberts that, sh that are hopefully watching this. They're very interested in this model. So that is I, huge. I wanted to make sure we were a little bit uh, more in depth. But yes, yeah, that very is large really nice. That's, that's a very nice size. And it has an ice maker. Mm -hmm. Wow. I went 11 years without an ice maker in my house. <laughs> Once you get one, you, you, you're not yeah, going back, I, are I you? I should have moved into an RV. <laughs> Any other uh, questions? Well, people are wanting to know, what can you tow this Wildcat with? Sure. So, um, I mean, average uh, dry weight, I, I, I'll have to get the exact specs, and you guys can look at those there, too. Um, but I know she's right there around 10. So we would... Um, Expect that you would come with at least an F-250, whether that be gas or diesel. So but three quarter ton. Three quarter ton would be would be plenty for this model. Now they they do make shorter Wildcats. Okay, again, this was the uh, it's going to have the middle bunk. We're going to get to that in just a second. So a little more length, a little bit more weight, um, but still three quarter ton would do this perfect. One last thing: is there any more light you can turn on above the, the oh, I'm, oven? I'm or sure the, there is because so. people want to see that. We've had two requests to see the black the back splash. There we go. Well, this is not, you, you start to see all of the people doing the herringbone flooring, or, yeah. you know, flooring the tile that's very trendy right now. So that's uh, actually I, very I nice really do looking. like, it's not your typical uh, peel on or, or your stick oh, really? on either. Yep, yeah, that's, a, nice. that's a one piece. So it's and not solid surface countertop. Yes, sir. Of course. Yeah, I tell you, I, the, the Wildcats were one of the very first trailers oh, your father sold. and I sold, yep. and it's amazing how they've, how far they've come. Yeah. It's beautiful. Absolutely. Well, guys, keep the questions coming. Josh knows what he's doing. We'll keep answering them for yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, obviously, there's more more kitchen lights too. We we must have just opened this one up a little quicker, but uh, let's see if I can find those. Nope. That's probably why they're not turned on because the light is somewhere else. Anyway, we'll, get, we'll I want to show you the the uh, bunk room real quick, guys. So uh, in this one here, if you have children or even smaller adults here, would be a great place for them. Uh, a lot of people even use this as a little office area. You can remove the couch, and that's one of my what one of my customers did. Is this is his uh, dedicated office here? A really Whatever. nice couch. This will all fold down and everything. Kind of give you. Oh, we'll have to remove right. these cushions first. Yeah. So this will. So you got a, a bed up top, and you got a bed down here. This will all fold out into what I believe would be a trifold sofa. So, and it's going to take up the whole room, so I'm not going to demonstrate it all, but I mean, just to give you an idea, a very comfortable sleeping position here. Uh, and then this will fold down, and you can put these as little headrests if you wanted to. So very, very cool. Still plenty of storage and workspace if you needed to. Uh, prep for a TV, USB ports on the sides here. I'm going to put this back up so you can get a little closer look. So you got the USB ports and the television, and everything. Um, get, why don't you step this way here too, so I, we can show them the loft. Hey this Josh, while you show them the loft, do we take trade-ins? Is a question. Yes, of course we take trade-ins, guys. We we entertain them, so just give us a call. Let us know what you have. We'll get you the best price on that, and we can get you an out-the-door number with all of that included. So. Uh, but you see here, guys, you got a uh, pretty, pretty comfortable mattress and everything. You got a little light, skylight and everything for them so they can breathe. And it is ducted for air conditioner as well. So uh, have everything there. Um, all of your, uh, so this right here is basically going to control the trailer. So you can do your leveling and your lights and everything off of that. Um, and the next, obviously, would be the bathroom. Very nice shower, plenty of cabinetry in here for your linens and everything, plenty of leg room, all that good stuff that I know you guys are going to be looking for. Uh, and last but not least, the master bedroom. So uh, king bed in here, okay. Um, it is going to be on a slide out, so we have additional walking space. And then check this little, well, I say little, I shouldn't say little. Check out this huge closet. I'll show you that half. And I'll show you the other here. They're going to be mad that I touched the windows, but it's okay. Washer, dryer, prep in this one. Basically a walk-in closet, guys, and still have uh, plenty of cabinetry and everything as well. So 
but washer dryer prep, windows in the slides, everything. Uh, television can sit right here and it would plug in right there. USB chargers everywhere. Um, air conditioner in the bedroom. So it's gonna give you pretty much everything you need. So uh, Dave, was there any more questions on this one? Yeah, uh, we had a question. Catherine wanted to know what kind of stove does it have? I just looked, it's fully gas and it is a Furion. Yeah. And then um, Pamela wanted to know, how does the floor hold up to large dogs? Well, Pamela, I probably weigh a little more than your dog. Right. <laughs> unfortunately, probably a little more than three of your dogs. And uh, it holds up very, very well. You don't feel soft spots. You don't feel a give. Right. Awesome floor. And then we had a great question. Um, Michelle's 01, can you get into the bathroom while traveling when the slides are in? You can. Yes, yes of, yeah, of that, course. That's so. one of the hot things about this one, actually. Of course. Well, that, and you can still access the fridge, too. So, right. I mean, once these slides are in, you still have plenty of walkway through the, uh, you know, towards the bedroom. Exactly. Even with the bed being in, you could still sleep in it as well. It's not going to, uh, you know, hinder your comfort, just your right. walking around abilities. Then so. we had a really good question. Uh, Renee wanted to know, for the, for the uh, Nationwide Service Network, uh -huh. where can I see who, my, who has authorized my area? We do not put that on the Internet. Because other dealers would simply steal it. Well, you see, the guy down the road did just a couple uh, <laughs> right. weeks ago. I mean, right. so that's that. When when you have something proprietary, and and we've been copied on every single thing that we've done. Well, there's the, 26 dealers we know that use our name in some way. Or another. Someone said earlier, RV yeah. Wholesalers Club. Come on, guys, right. let's be original. You know, yeah. uh, but but uh, we've seen people copy everything that we've done except how we treat customers after the sale. Other dealers, yeah. they're going to tell you, hey, uh, luckily for you, uh, let's let's use Florida for example. There's eight dealerships in Florida that sell Wildcat. Go to any one of right. them. Well, RVs aren't like cars. Parts aren't down the street. You have no. to get most of them. I'd say 90% of parts well, from Indiana. You know, this is a, this was two years ago. One of the factories that we dealt with shipped the wrong part 82% of the time. Right. Okay. We got the right part all but eight. Now, listen to this real close. All but 18% of the time. Right. We flipped that number on its head, literally, because we know how to order parts, and you can say, well, come on, every dealer has to know how to order. No, they don't. We take a picture of the part. We include every number we can numbers, with the part. Mm -hmm. There's measurements. And we have our drivers even go over and pick up all of our parts, mm -hmm. and then they're able to verify it's the correct part. Right. Uh, and other dealers just don't do that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, it, just like uh, last Friday. They'll just call in, give you a VIN, yeah. whatever they get. That's L what they Last get. Friday, a, a dealer in Columbus, Ohio, was talking to one of our, our customers. The customer had called in. He had uh, broken a window, wanted to know how long it would take. We mm -hmm. told him, need you to stop in. We need to measure it, take pictures, yeah. so we can give it to the factory. He didn't like that answer. We told him it would probably take about three weeks. He mm -hmm. hated that answer. Right. He called a, a dealer in Columbus, and the dealer just flat lied to him. Oh, I pulled it up on, on uh, their website. I'm looking at it right now. I can have it in three days. Right. Unfortunately, not true. No. We end up ordering it for him. Uh, we've asked them to rush it. But, you know, dealers say a lot of things, but I can lie all I want. I still can't give you the window before three weeks. Sure. You Especially know, we know with what's going on right now. Right. We know enough to know that they don't stock windows. No. That window is going to come from the window manufacturer, and we know how long it's going to take. If so they, If they did have any, they're going on their retail pieces. They're exactly. not going to be sitting they're, they're there for They're not pulling them off for, right. for parts. Exactly. And, not, you know, not, and, not right and guys, we're just, we're not going to lie to you. We're going to tell you the truth. Uh, but go go back to the question. It was a great question. So how do I know who in my area can do the work? If you call us, okay, call in, ask for Lori and uh, warranty, and Lori can tell you who we have in your area mm -hmm. that can fix your unit, okay? Yeah. It's not a secret. We'll tell you before you buy. Mm -hmm. We can tell anyone anywhere in the country, even in Canada, exactly where you're going to go and, and who's going to fix your RV. So, And we're happy to share that. We just don't put it on the Internet. Yeah. Because it's taken us 22 years to build 2,500 plus places, we're not going to give it to our competitors. No, not at all. No, we're, we're, we're just not going to do it. And, and to, so one thing to tag along to that, guys, uh, I, I know it feels great or, or, or the you know idea of having that service center up the road that can take care of my issues is a good feeling. But right. RVs don't break in your driveway, right? That's why we have a nationwide service network. Right. I may have people that can fix something small once you bring it back, but if something major happens, like an air conditioner going out and you're in the state of Florida, you're not going camping. That's a no, huge and, and and that's what we always say to people: Do you camp next to your dealer? You're, yeah, you're you're not. Staying. You know, and they're like, "What? Do you camp next to your dealer? Because if you don't, how are they going to help you?" Sure. You know, one thing we learned very early on was, again, like you said, people go on trips; they travel on these things. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and you take when it's really hot out, someone loses their air conditioner. My wife's not camping. You guys are going to be happy. Flat. Though. She's not camping. Fighting. Right. No. So we need to be able to fix your air conditioner while you're on your trip, mm-hmm. not when you get back. Right. And, and you know, this isn't picking on other dealers, but their business plan is 80 years old, and here's what they do. You call them up and say, hey, I'm in Indian Lake State Park. My air conditioner's not working. What can you do? Bring when you're in. done with your trip, bring it in. Bring it in. And then you're going to take it when you're done with your trip. That doesn't help you during your trip. You're going to drop it off. And the average last year was 13 weeks. Mm-hmm. 13 weeks later, they're going to call you, and you come pick it up. Here's the problem with that. Number one, my trip was ruined. Number two, I just lost 13 weeks of camping. So you say, okay, how do you handle it, RV wholesalers? If we aren't by you, we send someone to you to fix your air conditioning, okay? If you're local and you come here and the air conditioning's trashed, it cannot be fixed, we're going to give you another unit to use so you can continue your trip. Yeah, we, we just do things different for that reason. And, you know, Wildcat's awesome to deal with. Uh, Michelle said that, uh, great, she needs uh, she has a child with diabetes, unfortunately. We're sorry to hear that. She needs access to the bathroom and the refrigerator. This unit will do it. We got a couple others real quick. Uh, so many, Rob says Lori's awesome. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Lori does an amazing job. She, she's, she's not necessarily in the forefront, but, I mean, no, she, she, she does everything behind the scenes yeah. that people don't, unfortunately, get to give her credit for. Exactly. She is, she's amazing. Yeah, she's, she's an awesome. angel. Someone else asked, is this a fifth wheel? Yes, it is. And then someone said, I'm looking for a fifth wheel with a bath and a half. Call us. We have them. Yeah. Not an issue. Josh would love to help you when he's done. And the last one is um, what, again, so they, they must have missed the first one. What can I tow this with? Three-quarter ton is what would, we suggest. Would be preferred. This, yeah. this should uh, come in right in between eleven and 12,000 pounds. Um, should, again, I, I, I didn't bring my spec sheet with me, guys, so if you need for sure numbers, give us a call. But I would like and to see something of is really comfortable. I, I knew you'd say that. But I had to get up before I started <laughs> Before you started sleeping. Well, good uh, deal, Judy want to know, do we carry Class A coaches? Yes, we do. And, uh, have we, you know, have we shown ours, the one that we got online Yeah, yet? we've shown one already. And, you, okay. and, guys, we have a ton of coaches on our uh, YouTube page. Mm-hmm. Go look up our uh, RV Wholesalers page on YouTube. Uh, check it out. There's all kinds of – same thing we're doing now. Yep. Uh, there's a ton of them. And, you know, uh, A little last bit thing, more in-depth, in too, since yeah. we don't have 100 of them when we do those. You know, we're exactly. just a little bit more in-depth uh, training and stuff. So, yeah. Well, and someone, you know, they keep asking, why, why do you spend so much time on service? Simple, that's the most important thing. Well, well when you a- sell... Anyone can sell an RV. When you sell the same products as everyone else, right. even though at a cheaper cost, what makes yep. you different? What makes what you different? What justifies you coming from Texas and buying exactly. an RV from Exactly. You know, I've always, I've always tried to explain to people that you buying an RV from us, it's the same as a marriage. Yeah. You know, uh, you, hopefully you look for something semi-special in marriage. <laughs> maybe not all of us when you look yeah, maybe, at the current rate of divorce. Right, but, right, right. but, you know, hopefully you do. And, and what we like to tell people is, you know what, we're a family. Uh, we love our customers. We're going to take care of you. We're going to make sure you're taken care of. Last one, uh, Scott asks, we're financing a Class C right now. We are finding we can't finance a second RV to put on a piece of property. Are you guys able to do that? Uh, call us and ask for Dallas, Scott. If anyone can help you, Dallas can help yeah. you. All right, I think I think we got to roll to the next one. I, I believe it. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.